Dear friends, today we are going to discuss the continuation part of welding. Let's start. Welding technique of oxyacetin welding. Question number one. Leftward welding technique, otherwise known as dash. Leftward welding technique, otherwise known as dash. Answer, forehand technique. Answer, forehand technique. The welding commences at the right hand edge of the welding jaw and proceed towards the left. Here, the welding commences at the right hand edge of the welding jaw and proceeds towards the left. In this picture, we can see here the welding start from the right side and move towards the left. We can see the positions of blowpipe and filler rods. Movement of filler rods and the movement of blowpipe, etc. Okay. Question number two. Dash is the most widely used oxyacetylene gas welding techniques. Dash is the most widely used oxyacetylene gas welding techniques. Answer leftward technique. Leftward technique is the most widely used oxyacetylene gas welding technique. In leftward welding technique, blowpipe is held at an angle of dash with the welding line. In leftward welding technique, blowpipe is held at an angle of dash with the welding line. Answer 60 degree to 70 degree. Answer 60 degree to 70 degree. Question number 4. In leftward welding technique, filler rod is held at an angle of dash with the welding line. In leftward welding technique, filler rod is held at an angle of dash with the welding line. Answer 30 degree to 40 degree. Answer 30 degree to 40 degree. Question number 5. Rightward welding technique otherwise known as dash. Rightward welding technique otherwise known as dash. Answer backhand technique. Answer back hand technique. Here the welding is begun at the left hand edge of the welding jaw and it proceeds towards the right. The welding begun at the left hand side and proceeds towards the right side. Here the welding is begun at the left hand edge. And the moves towards the right side. We can see the movement of filler rod and blow pipe. Okay. Question number six. In the rightward welding technique, blow pipe is held at an angle of dash with the welding line. In rightward welding technique, blow pipe is held at an angle of dash with the welding line. Answer 40 degree to 50 degree. Answer 40 degree to 50 degree. Also, the filler rod is held at an angle of 30 degree to 40 degree with the welding line. The filler rod is held at an angle of 30 degree to 40 degree with the welding line. Blow pipe is held at an angle of 40 degree to 50 degree and the filler rod is held at an angle of 30 degree to 40 degree with the welding line. Question number 7. Which welding technique should be used above 5 mm thickness? Which welding technique should be used above 5 mm thickness? Answer, a right word welding technique. Answer, rightward welding technique. Question number 8. The dash type of filler rod contains iron, carbon, silicon, etc. The dash type of filler rod contains iron, carbon, silicon, etc. Answer, ferrous type. Answer, ferrous type. Question number 9. The dash type of 
filler rod using for copper, aluminium, tin, etc. The dash type of filler rod using for copper, aluminium, tin, etc. Answer non ferrous type. Answer non ferrous type. Question number 10. The filler rod must be dashed with respect to the base metal. The filler rod must be dashed with respect to the base metal. Answer same composition. Answer same composition. The filler rod must be same composition with respect to the base metal. Question number 11. Dash refers to bracing alloys. Dash refers to bracing alloys. Answer, IS-127 in 1975. Answer, IS-127 in 1975. Question number 12. Dash refers to filler rods for gas welding. Dash refers to filler rods for gas welding. Answer, IS-127. 1278 in 1972. Answer 1278 in 1972. Question number 13. MS Dia 50 WT3 into 100 mm. What do you mean WT3? What do you mean WT3? Answer wall thickness 3. Answer wall thickness 3 mm. Here an MS pipe 100 mm long with the 50 mm inside diameter and 3 mm wall thickness is specified. Question number 14. If the wall thickness is more than 3 mm, then the beveling is done by dash. If the wall thickness is more than 3 mm, then the beveling is done by dash. Answer gas cutting. Answer, gas cutting. Question number 15. If the wall thickness is less than 3 mm, then the beveling is done by dash. If the wall thickness is less than 3 mm, then the beveling is done by dash. Answer, filing. Answer, filing. If the wall thickness is more than 3 mm, then the beveling is done by gas cutting and if the wall thickness is less than 3 mm, then the beveling is done by filing. Question number 16. 6G welding position is usually used to test dash. 6G welding position is usually used to test dash. Answer. The skill of a welder in pipe welding. Answer. The skill of a welder in pipe welding. Question number 17. The welding of the pipeline without rotating the pipe during welding is called dash. The welding of the pipeline without rotating the pipe during welding is called dash. It is fixed position welding. Answer, it is fixed position welding or position 5G. In this position, the welder has to move according to the condition of the pipeline in the different positions. In this position, the welder has to move according to the condition of the pipeline in the different position such as vertical, down hand and overhead positions. Okay. Question number 18. In pipe butt joint, if the axis of the pipe is vertical, and the weld joint is in the horizontal plane, then it is called dash. In the pipe butt joint, if the axis of the pipe is vertical and the weld joint is in the horizontal plane, then it is called answer 2G position. Answer 2G position. In this position, it is a fixed position welding and the blowpipe and filler rod are to be moved around the pipe surface. This 2G position is a fixed position. 
This is a fixed position welding and the blow pipe and filler rod are to be moved around the pipe surface. Question number 90. Dash is the process by which metals are joined with the help of another alloy without heating the base metal. Dash is the process by which metals are joined with the help of another alloy without heating the base metal. Answer, soldering. Answer, soldering. Here, the melting point of the solder is lower than that of the materials being joined. Here, the melting point of the solder is lower than that of the materials being joined. What are the types of solders? What are the types of solders? Answer, soft solder and hard solder. Soft solder whose melting points are 450 degrees Celsius and hard solders whose melting points are above 450 degree celsius solders solders are bonding filler metals used in soldering process solders are bonding filler metals used in soldering process also this solders are pure metals or alloys question number 21 Soft solders are mainly composition of tin and lead in the ratio of dash. Soft solders are mainly composition of tin and lead in the ratio of dash. Answer 1 is to 1. Answer 1 is to 1. Which is used for general sheet metal applications. Which is used for general sheet metal applications. The composition of soft solder is tin and lead in the ratio of 1 is to 1, which is used for general sheet metal applications. Question number 22. Which are the composition of filler metal for bracing? Which are the composition of filler metal for bracing? Answer, copper, zinc and tin. Answer, Copper, zinc, and tin. Question number 23. Which are the composition of filler metal used for silver bracing? Which are the composition of filler metal used for silver bracing? Answer, silver copper alloy. Answer, silver copper alloy. Next question. Dash are used as solders. Dash are used as solders. Answer, Pure metals or alloys. Answer. Pure metals or alloys. Question number 25th. Soldering ions are normally made of. Soldering ions are normally made of. Answer. Copper. Answer. Copper. Next question. Dash is used as flex mainly for soldering copper sheets. Dash is used as flex mainly for soldering copper sheets. Answer, zinc chloride. Answer, zinc chloride. Question number 27. Dash is used as flex for soldering steel sheets. Dash is used as flex for soldering steel sheets. Answer, ammonium chloride. Answer, ammonium chloride. Dear friends, our today's part is over. We will see again with a new part of welding. If you like my videos, please do like, comment, share and subscribe to my channels. Thanks for watching.